A scientist at the University of Toronto says he has a potential treatment for COVID-19. It is a synthetic antibody created in a lab that can eliminate symptoms. Joining us now is Sachdev Sidhu from the University of Toronto's Donnelly Centre for Cellular and Biomolecular Research. Good morning to you. Good morning. Uh, how would a synthetic antibody work? Uh, it's going very well. We've got the antibody we believe uh, should be a therapeutic and we're now working um, with the National Research Council in Montreal to do what we call a scale-up, so we can make enough of it for clinical trials. Uh, back in February, your team was granted more than a million dollars in federal funding for this kind of research. What will the next steps be in getting this then tested and approved once you go through the process with Montreal? Um, more money will help. Uh, we're now entering a phase which is not science. It's uh, drug scale-up, clinical, and then making, hopefully it will work, and then we need to be already prepared to make uh, the many doses we'll need for treating uh, symptomatic patients who we believe this drug would be ideal for. Uh, you know, we've been taking a look at different stories around antibodies, you know, the test that's going on famously with Winter the Llama, looking at antibodies there. How is a synthetic antibody different, uh, and how would it be used to treat patients? How would they receive it? Um, it would be exactly the same treatment. A synthetic simply means we designed it ourselves. So we believe it's even more effective because it's engineered. Uh, but here's the thing. There are many people doing um, antibody treatments. And I, uh, that's what I wanted to highlight in my story. This is not just us. There are other groups doing it. And our main point is Canada should have its own antibody treatment uh, to have a secure drug for the Canadian people. And I hope that wouldn't be controversial in that uh, the Chinese are doing their own work, the United States are doing their own work. We've actually allied with Italy, of all places. Uh, we have common goals, and we're also talking to India. So our main goal is to make an established method of therapy, antibodies, which has been extremely effective for other diseases, apply it to COVID-19, and crucially ensure that Canada has its own supply. Um, and we're working closely with uh, the government uh, through Navdeep Baines, the Minister of Innovation. Uh, they've been very helpful in understanding in these things. It is exciting to think about the possibilities. Uh, can you explain for us at what point in COVID-19 for a patient would they receive this antibody? Would it be, uh, you know, in the middle of symptoms showing up, when they first see symptoms? When it does reach patients, how would it be used? Yeah, our theory, which is based on good fact, is that the antibody should only be given to those whose own immune system is not making effective antibodies in time. And that's something to understand. A good vaccine would achieve exactly what we would achieve, but through indirect means. Uh, people forget or aren't told what is a successful vaccine. It's an injection before infection uh, that gives rise to your own antibody that can fight the disease. Um, if you get the disease, and your own body is making antibodies, which I must say for this disease, at least 95 out of 100 people do that. They recover by themselves. We'll just wait and monitor. But if you're critical, if you're old, if you're immune compromised, the vulnerable in our society should have this immune boost, which is very mechanism-based. It simply gives your body an antibody that it can't make itself in time. So it'd be for those who are symptomatic and at risk. Uh, Sachdev Sidhu, I want to thank you for joining us from the University of Toronto. We wish you the best of luck uh, in this next phase of what you are working on. Thank you so much, the synthetic antibodies. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.